we are in this lush orchard some of the vegetables also they are farming so the host charles baptist he comes around every day and asks you what you would like to eat and based on that he goes to the market gets busy with his small team here to cook the dishes for you your drumstick very good for a change we have made uh, a malai chicken today this is bottle guard uh, palya Okay, so your fish fry okay. that we saw you frying. <laughs> yeah, this masala is actually it's mom's recipe. Hi, folks! Welcome to a new vlog from Chikmagalur, right? Yes. <laughs> We are back in Chikmagalur after how long? Two years. After two years, and the last time around when we came here, we stayed at this property, this homestay called the Vintage. In fact, I even have a vlog on it on the channel. If you haven't caught it yet, I'm going to place a link in the video description below. And so we are back here in Chikmagalur, and guess where we are staying this time around? The same place. <laughs> the same place. That's right. We are back at the vintage Chikmagalur. In fact, it's probably one of those rare occasions that we actually repeat a property, especially when we are out on a holiday when we are just looking to, uh, you know, chill out. But the last time around when we stayed here, we liked this property so much that we decided to, you know, return to the property. Of course, Chikmagalur as a destination is a great destination, especially from uh, a Bengaluru perspective. You know, it's only about four and a half hours of driving, and the good thing about the vintage is the fact that it's only about 15 minutes from the point that you reach Chikmagalur to this particular property. It's not a situation where you've driven for about four and a half hours and then you need to drive another 40 minutes to get to where you're going to be staying. And the other thing about this property also is its setting. So for instance right now we are in this lush orchard we've got uh, fruit trees of every kind we've got jackfruit we've got uh, chiku papaya and then the amla the big amla uh. mangoes and then some of the vegetables also they're farming like you know like basle soppu and then dantu soppu the tamaranth and then the tonde kaya that you know like uh, vegetables they are you know they growing here So it's a four acre odd property it's mostly a fruit orchard of sort. What's also nice in terms of uh, the accommodation is that there are two independent villas. Depending on the group size you also have the opportunity to get an entire villa to yourself. So we typically stay in a smaller villa out here. which has three bedrooms but we've occupied two of them the good thing is that each one of these villas has its own space right yeah, and also he doesn't have more people you know he may have maximum two groups or uh, two to three groups maximum 10 to 14 people so that way you know like it's not like too crowded and you know like uh, it's like uh, it's a it's a nice you know that uh, that you have your space for yourself you know uh, yeah so that's the other good thing out here so sometimes when you go to places you have too many people around you and uh, so when you're looking to take a bit of a break that feels like you have to put up with people and things that are happening around but out here because of the manner in which they've designed the property you really have the space more or less to yourself and also because of the fact that they don't take too many guests The villas are fairly spacious the rooms are fairly spacious so the one that we are staying in you walk in there are two very comfortable beds double size beds both so in case there are uh, kids as well you have space for them you've got a little seating area 
That room opens up into another room in case you've got family staying with you. And then on the outside, you also have this space where you have your own dining area. You have a space where you can do some yoga and things like that. I had a video that released this morning, so I was just taking a look at how the video is doing. I didn't have the heart to turn my computer, the video, audio on because I'm listening to the sound of the birds here. That's the... I think I spoke a little loud. I think the bird has piped down. So amazing to be here. You can also go for nice long walks, you know, it's beautiful, yeah. about 40 to 50 minutes. So that's something else that we've been doing, in fact Shree's been doing more of that, so we've been doing a lot of walking around this in this property. The other aspect which also connects back to what they grow here is the food. So some of the basale dantu that we were eating the other day is what is grown out here in the gardens. The food is simple, wholesome, quite delicious, so the host Charles Baptist, he comes around every day and asks you what you would like to eat. And based on that, he goes to the market, procures the ingredients and uh, gets busy with his small team here to cook the dishes for you. The marwa is always challenging to it, but it's very satisfying. Yeah. Hmm? Mm. Though you don't get anything to eat inside. <laughs> yeah, it's like all that fuss for just that little bit of meat. Okay, they have made some full cast today. Okay. And uh, for a change, we have made uh, a malai chicken today. A malai Indian chicken? Dish. Yeah. This is bodyguard uh, palya. Okay. Uh, this is uh, sear Some fish. Sear fry. fish fry okay. that we saw you frying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this masala is actually its mom's recipe. Its mom's recipe. Huh. Yeah, it's a Mangalorean style masala. Kaal haki. So Mangalur gumbar. Mm. The cuisine is a mix of uh, local Malnad style, and some Mangalorean style of food. We've enjoyed all our meals here. South Indian rasam, sambar and uh, vegetable palyas. It's nice, you know, simple home cooked, you know, like not too much oil, butter, ghee, like how, you know, you make at home, right? So it's like that, you know, like actually, you know, you don't feel guilty after the vacation, you know, you don't feel guilty of putting on weight and all that because it's well balanced kind of a meal. Basically, it's like ghar ka khana. And uh, I think the other uh, aspect that makes a huge difference here is Charles. Uh, you know, he lives on the property. He's the owner of the property. He lives on the property. And he's always around making sure that you're comfortable, not just in terms of what you would like to eat, but also guiding you in terms of places to go to. Sightseeing. Sightseeing, uh, what you'd like to buy, if you'd like to shop for something somewhere. I think let's go to the garden, no? Yeah. So the last time around, we quite liked the coffee that they um, that we tasted here and we asked him about the coffee and he guided us to this place called uh, Panduranga Coffee Works. And uh, we went there. In fact, I also have a vlog on Panduranga Coffee Works. I'll place a link to that in the video description below. And since that day, that's the coffee that we've been having at home. We've just arrived at our villa. That's where we are staying. It's our own little space within the vintage. The villa is called the vintage LJ. Uh, LJ after the children of Charles, Alicia and Jaden. And uh, you have that lovely uh, space outside. We find Charles to be a great resource in terms of where you want to go, whether you want to go for sightseeing or you want to just explore something around. 
Uh, in fact, this morning uh, there were no other guests, so I said, Charles, I want to go for a spin in your Jeep. So he took me for a spin in his Jeep, and we went to a lake about 30 odd uh, kilometers from here. And uh, so he's a sort of host who really makes you feel at home. He's always around ensuring that whatever you need, he and his team can provide for you. It's a small team of people who are very friendly out here, whether it's the cook or uh, the chap who serves you or even the gardener or the you know the caretaker for that matter they have a smiling faces you know they all have smiling faces so it's feel, feel good whenever you look at them when you ask for something they smile and they bring it without you know any so this is a sort of experience that uh, endears us to the vintage chikmagalur it's one of those homestays that really makes you feel at home so there are some homestays where you go and you feel like you've entered someone's home, that's for sure. But you also sometimes feel like you're you know, invading someone's space, invading someone's uh, privacy. And also on the flip side, you feel like you don't have your own space, you don't have your own uh, you know, privacy within the space. But out here, you can find that. So be it in the little villa that we are staying or even in the main villa, which has four bedrooms. So if you're a large group, let's say six or eight people, you can have the entire villa to yourself. So it basically allows you to get away and uh, find a space that can truly be your home, away from home for the two or three days that you are there. So yeah, that's the reason why we love the uh, vintage Chikmagluru. And I'm going to have a link to the last video in the description below. Do look it up. It'll tell you more about the property. And uh, if you get an opportunity, do visit. Do visit. Do book and visit. I hope you enjoyed this short vlog. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye-bye. So I'm with Mr. Charles Baptist, uh, who is our host and of course the owner of Baptist Farms, which is where the vintage homestay is uh, situated, located. So thank you very much, Charles. Uh, really enjoyed our stay here. This is our second time here, as you know, and uh, we've enjoyed his hospitality thoroughly. Of course, the place is great and the atmosphere, etc. But at the end of the day, it's the people who actually define the experience. And for us, uh, at the center of the vintage uh, experience is Charles Baptist. We've known him only, uh, we are meeting him only for the second time. The last time was two years ago. But it just feels like we are uh, returning back to a friend. And even as we leave, we are certainly feeling a little sorry. And we also know for a fact that we're going to miss the vintage and more importantly, our interaction here with uh, Charles. So thank you very much, Charles, for having us over. I should be uh, thankful to you, sir. Uh, really, it's an honor uh, to host you for the second time. And I'm really uh, very, very thankful to you for uh, kind of having and I said all those kind words. Thank you so much. And uh, definitely, I would uh, invite you once again uh, to Chikmangalore here to the vintage. Wonderful. So it's been now what uh, three years since the vintage opened? Yeah, actually, I started in the year 2020, Jan, and uh, all this. Then, then COVID happened. During COVID, actually, sir, it was very, very bad, and. Uh, after COVID, of course, you know, people just wanted to unwind, you know, they wanted to come to Chikmangalore and all. Uh, okay, the business was okay. Uh, but one more thing I have to admit here, sir, you know, like, mm. um, after your visit uh, to our vintage, uh, maybe I think these customers have some con confidence in you and uh, uh, whenever, you know, like, when I try to communicate with them, uh, they of course mention about your video also you know, that actually has helped me to you know increase my business also the one thing that i know about charles in the time that i've spent with him is that he's extremely modest extremely humble and uh, when you see him at work here with his team you really don't know that he's the owner of this sprawling five acre road property and uh, that's the manner in which he uh, interacts with guests i think most guests uh, even when they meet with him, they interact with him, etc. They just know that he's the host. They don't know that he's the owner. And I'm told sometimes they're quite surprised uh, when they realize finally that he's the owner because of the manner in which he, uh, you know, the humility with which he uh, greets, interacts with all his guests and makes sure they have a great time. And I think that's really the reason why we find uh, Vintage to be probably one of our most favorite 
home stay experiences that, that we've had in the recent past so thank you very much charles thank you sir thank you very much thank you